Hey, space fans, it's Tarek Malik, editor-in-chief at space.com, here at NASA's Teague Auditorium at the Johnson Space Center, because we're here to get the lowdown on the Artemis II mission. We're going to hear from mission uh, managers today. We're going to hear from scientists about the science on the mission, and you're going to read all about it on space.com. But I wanted to show off this room really quick because it is spectacular. One of my favorite things about coming to Johnson Space Center for missions. You can see there's this gorgeous uh, mural on the wall by artist Robert McCall uh, that kind of chronicles the, I guess, like the feeling and the sense of uh, human spaceflight and space exploration. You've got uh, astronauts and the scientists and all of the people behind the mission. Plus, up in the corner, you can see the, the trainer for the Apollo moon landings. This is the machine that uh, Neil Armstrong uh, was almost, I mean, he was really injured in, during a, a malfunction. If you saw that biopic, uh, uh, th that, uh, what was that actor, Josh? Come on, you can tell me. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. You can see if you saw that, that was the accident that he was in. This is the machine that he was on. And, uh, and you can see some of the glide uh, models uh, for the early shuttle designs above us as well. So I really like coming here just because you can see a bit of that history from uh, NASA in the walls here. And you know, just yesterday we saw NASA unveil 10 new astronauts in this very room. And today we're going to hear from the people that are going to make Artemis II happen, hopefully in 2026. So, you know, come to space.com. We'll have all of those details and it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Check it out.